Welcome back to my Oklahoma City Bison's Relocation Franchise. In today's episode, we are trying to get back to our third straight Super Bowl. We have lost the last two by three points, but today we have a home game in Oklahoma City to take on the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship. The AFC Championship is between Kansas City and Jacksonville. Now, you may remember that earlier this season, we actually played the Eagles in Philadelphia where we lost 31 to 28. And the really bad part about that is it was their backup quarterback. Jalen Hurts was not even playing and this kid torched us for 393 yards and three touchdowns. But that most likely won't be the case today as unless he gets hurt again, Jalen Hurts is their starting quarterback at a 99 overall. At running back, they have an 87 in Steven Riddick and backed up by an 86 in DeAndre Swift. Wide receiver is a 96 Devontae Smith and 80 overall into Sean Joseph. I don't see AJ Brown here and I don't remember if he left the team or if he's injured. We'll go double check that here in a minute. At tight ends, an 87 overall in Dallas Goddard. Left tackle is a 91 Jordan Mailata. Left guard is an 89 in Landon Dickerson. Center is an 83 in Doug Columbus. Right guard is a 76 and right tackle is a 78. Now over on defense, they have a 75 overall left in Jerome Jackson at right and a 90 overall in Josh Sweat. Defensive tackle is a 90 overall Jalen Carter. Outside linebacker is an 80 overall in Nolan Smith. Middle linebacker is an 81 Devin Bush. Right outside linebacker is an 83 Jamin Davis. At corner an 86 in Anton Dixon, a 78 in Avante Maddox. And then at free safety a 78 in Keenan Hilliard and strong safety an 83 in Sidney Brown. Now, just in case you missed the last episode, we suffered another injury at left end. Demarcus Lawrence is going to miss the rest of the season. So we did sign Emmanuel Ogba to be our backup left end. Right now, Ogbanya Okoronkwo will be our starter, but we're also going to be without our starting left guard in Damian Lewis today. But the Eagles are also going to be without several of their players. Apparently, they put Caleb Werner on IR and he cannot come back even though he's healthy. Jordan Davis is an 86 overall defensive tackle, and he has one more game before he is healed from an upper arm fracture, and A.J. Brown has turf toe, so he won't be playing today. But now it is time to get into this year's NFC Championship game. The Bison will be getting the ball first, and you can already see at the bottom of the screen that Kansas City is headed back to the Super Bowl, so if we win this game, it'll be a rematch from a couple years ago, but right now we need to worry about Philadelphia as star quarterback Nick Samuel will take the field. Let's see how well our offense wants to operate today. From our own 25-yard line, Samuel lines up under center. Eli Craig is in at running back. Spurlock is in at fullback, but we give it to Craig right up the middle, and he will fight his way forward for a four-yard play. Now Samuel going back under center. Eli Craig is still the running back here from his own 29-yard line. We're going to give it back to Craig, and this time he has the first down and more, getting all the way to the 41-yard line. Samuel will take the snap and look for his first pass of the day. Dance around the pocket. He's going to go deep downfield. Does he have a man? Yes, he does. It is Hollywood Brown. Touchdown, Oklahoma City on the first pass attempt of the day. Well, that is definitely one way to start this game. Now the Eagles come out of their own 21-yard line. Jalen Hurts is lined up under center. He will drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside is caught for a gain of about seven yards. Now their own 28-yard line. I believe Riddick is still in at running back here. He's going to send Devontae Smith in motion, fake it to him. Now hand up for the running back up the middle for the first down to about the 35-yard line. Just a couple quick run plays later, and it's now a third and six for Philadelphia. Jalen out of shotgun. will run a play action to DeAndre Swift. Over the middle, he finds Devontae Smith to the 49-yard line. First down, Philadelphia. Now Hurts back in shotgun again. Riddick has checked back into the game. And that's where they go with it. Right up the middle, he has a solid run here and it will get brought down for an eight-yard carry. Now it's a second and two. From the 41-yard line of Oklahoma City, Jalen Hurst in shotgun. We'll give it to the running back again, and this time he will get met immediately and brought down. And Riddick is injured on the play. So for the time being, it looks like DeAndre Swift will be the main back for a third and one. And they're going to give it to Swift. No, it's a read option. Jalen Hurts keeps it himself with some great blocking and the first down all the way to the Bison 20-yard line. On the very next play, they would give it to DeAndre Swift for an 8-yard run. So now he's second and two from the 12. Jalen out of shotgun will look to pass. He finds Dallas Goddard underneath, and he gets all the way to the 1-yard line. First and goal, Eagles. He will take the snap, handoff to, uh, I believe, DeAndre Swift, who will walk into the end zone. But now Devontae Smith is injured on the Eagles' offense. That could be massive for them. 
We would give it to rookie running back Eli Craig to start the drive, and now it's a second and eight. Samuel out of shotgun. Will looks to pass downfield. He's going to the outside. That's caught by Jared Bartow, who has the first down all the way to the 47. That brings out a shotgun formation for the Bison. Samuel will take the snap and looks to go downfield. He's throwing it to the outside. Caught by Eli Craig. That'll be a gain of four on this play. That brings up a second and six. Samuel back in shotgun will draw back to pass again. He's going to throw over the middle. That's caught by Adonis Pleasance. He's got the first down into Philadelphia territory. On the very next play, Joe Mixon would check into the game and get a four-yard carry. So now it's a second and six from the 35. A quick throw will be caught by Hollywood, who will get close to the marker, but they say he is inches shy. The Bison will come out in a shotgun set to try to keep this drive moving. From the Eagles' 30-yard line, it'll be a handoff to Craig, who goes to the outside, has the blocking, and gets the first down. That sets up a five-wide set now for the Bison. Samuel will look to go downfield. He's under quick pressure, tries to get rid of it, and that one's going to fall incomplete. That was his first incomplete pass of the day, so now it's a second and ten. Back in shotgun, it's a quick throw to the outside, but he misses Jared Bartow. I apologize because that was not Bartow. That was actually the tight end, Braden Willis. But now on third down, out of a five-wide set, it's a screen to the outside, caught by Pleasance, who has good blocking, has the first down, and Adonis Pleasance down the sideline, forced out of bounds at the two-yard line. Now it's a first and goal. Samuel lines up under center. Joe Mixon has checked into the game. Samuel will look to pass a quick throw, and that's going to be caught by Rashard Devine, the rookie receiver. Let's see if our defense holds up better this time. Jalen comes out in a pistol set. DeAndre Swift is the running back from their own 25-yard line. Handoff to Swift, who has met pretty quickly for just a one-yard gain. Hurts back in shotgun. He will look to pass here. He's going to throw this to the outside, but overthrow his man, and now it's a possible three and out. Will the Bison's defense come up massive right here? From their own 26-yard line, looking to avoid punting it back to Oklahoma City. Jalen's going to take off up the middle, and there is no one there to stop him. He gets by Darnell Waters and has the first down to the 37. Now back in shotgun again. With DeAndre Swift still in the backfield, there's going to be a read option. Jalen keeps it to the outside, and Hurts has a solid run here for about 10 yards to set up a second and inches. Now 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. This could be the final play of the opening quarter. Hurts with a toss play to the outside, caught by Swift, who gets to the edge, has the first down, runs into his own blocker, and is brought down to the 49. So we now start the second quarter. Jalen Hurts is back in shotgun with a brand new set of downs. It's a handoff to DeAndre Swift into Bison territory, and he has a solid 10-yard run and the first down. Now Hurts back in shotgun again. I believe Swift is still lined up here at running back. Out of a shotgun set, he will look to pass a quick throw over the middle, and that one will fall incomplete. I really feel like we probably could have intercepted that. But either way, it brings up a second and ten. Now a handoff to Swift up the middle, who gets by a few people and is finally going to be brought down for a seven-yard run. That sets up a third and three. Hurts lines up under center. DeAndre Swift is the running back, and that's where they go with it up the middle, but he won't get to the marker. They rule it fourth and inches. But Philadelphia is going to be aggressive and go for this one. From the 31-yard line, Hurts is back in shotgun. He'll take the snap looking for a quick pass, and he misses his receiver. That's a turnover on downs. That is just a massive miscommunication on the Eagles' part. Now we take over at our own 31-yard line. Samuel from under center with a handoff to Eli Craig to the outside, and he'll get met and brought down for a four-yard run. That leads to a second and six. Samuel is back in shotgun. Eli Craig is still the running back. From our own 35-yard line, he will drop back to pass again, roll into the outside, throws on the run, and he finds his man. That's caught by Braden Willis for the first down. Back in a shotgun set from our own 43 now. Samuel looking to pass again. We'll find Jared Bartow. No, that's Braden Willis one more time, and it's a six-yard play. Now he will go under center with Eli Craig still in the backfield, nearing Eagles territory. And this throw will actually put us in Eagles territory. That time it is Jared Bartow. Now Nick Samuel lines up under center from the 45-yard line. Handoff to Eli Craig, but he is blown up in the backfield. That moves us back to face a second and 13. He's back in shotgun. Eli Craig is the running back from the 48-yard line. He'll look to go downfield, firing over the middle, caught by the running back, but it's knocked out of his hands, and now we face a third and long. Samuel back in shotgun. Three receivers at the top of the screen. Never mind, it's a draw play to Eli Craig, and I guess we were fine just punting that ball away. Jumping into the Eagles' drive, they have driven all the way down to the Bison 30-yard line where they have a first and 10. Hurts is back in shotgun. Hill looks a pass. Firing this one underneath, that's caught by Swift, and he's going to get brought down for about a 7-yard play. 
Now with a second and three. Hurts back in shotgun. It's a fake to Swift and a quick throw to the outside where he's going to get caught for the first down to the 17. Back in shotgun one more time. DeAndre Swift is still the running back and Hurts will look so pass. He's going to be under pressure. Break away from that sack but can't get away from the next one. That's Obo Okoronkwo. The former Sooner getting a big sack on that play. Now a second and 15. All the way back at the 22. A quick throw down field will be caught. He is rocked but holds on to it. Third and eight. You got to think if they don't get this, they'll just settle for a field goal try. From the 15-yard line, Hurst is back in shotgun. He'll drop back to pass again. Step up in the pocket, go downfield, and miss a wide open man. That was obviously a great opportunity to tie this game up, but instead they will kick a field goal to make it 14 to 10. Now the Bisons have three minutes and 12 seconds with all three timeouts before halftime. Samuel will start with a throw downfield, caught by Bartow for the first down to the 38. Samuel going back under center. With Craig in the backfield, he will drop back to the pass again. It's going to be a dump off to the running back, and Eli Craig will turn that into a gain of six on the play to bring up a second and four. This one might be the final play before the two-minute warning. From our own 44-yard line, he takes the snap as a fake to Eli Craig. Samuel will now throw to the running back, and that's just going to be straight up dropped on the play, so it won't take us to the two-minute warning. With 2.03 to play in the half, with a third and four. From our own 44, Samuel drops back a quick throw to the outside, caught by Barto, who breaks that tackle, and will get brought down to the 46-yard line. That one will take us to the two-minute warning. Now a minute 58 to play. Back in shotgun, Eli Craig is the running back. Samuel with a quick throw over the middle is caught by Adonis Pleasants, who holds on through the contact. That was a 10-yard gain to set up a second and inches. Now the Eagles 36, he'll drop back to the pass. Another quick throw to the outside, caught by Hollywood Brown, and he is brought out of bounds at the 21-yard line. With a minute 31 to play in the half, Samuel lines up under center. Eli Craig is the running back. We still have all three timeouts. He's under quick pressure and getting sacked on the play all the way back to the 29. We apparently elect to not burn a timeout on that, though now a second and 17, letting the clock run all the way down to a minute left in the half. We'll find Braden Willis, and he'll get all of those yards back and set up a third in inches. I thought he might get a first down. But they did force him out of bounds, so it does stop the clock. With 55 seconds to go from the 11-yard line, Samuel out of pistol will drop back and throws to Adonis Pleasants, who makes the catch and converts on the play. We would then burn our first timeout with 47 seconds to go in the half. Samuel out of shotgun will look to go to the end zone, and he finds a man. Touchdown, Jared Barto. But then trying to simulate to halftime, Jalen Hurts hits Devontae Smith for a 75-yard touchdown. That is absolutely absurd. They make it 21-17. But now as we go into the second half, the Eagles face a third and 12 at the Bison 40-yard line. Jalen Hurts is back in shotgun. He will drop back to pass here. He's under pressure and getting sacked on the play by former Eagle Hassan Reddick. The following punt would go back for a touchback, so let's see if we can take advantage of this opportunity and go back up by two scores. A handoff to Eli Craig, who will get met for a four-yard run. That brings up a second and six. Samuel will line up under center. Eli Craig is the running back at our own 24-yard line. It's going to be a play fake to the running back, and now going deep downfield to a wide open man. That is Jose Roberts, our backup tight end, all the way to the 50-yard line. Samuel comes out under center on the very next play. We go right back to the running back, Eli Craig, to the outside, and this time he'll end up with a gain of seven. Now it's a second and three. Samuel back in shotgun. It looks like Joe Mixon has checked into the game at running back. From the Eagles' 43-yard line, Samuel will look to pass. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Mixon, who will be met immediately. That's going to be a loss of three in the backfield. So now we need to try to keep this drive alive. It's a third and six. He will drop back to pass. A quick throw to the outside, and he finds his trusty target, Jared Barto, all the way to the Eagles 31 for the first down. An incomplete pass on the next play brings up a second and 10. At the 31-yard line with a five-wide set, Samuel will take the snap and look to go downfield. Rolling to the outside, now throws this one on the run to the end zone and finds his man, but Eli Craig can't come down with it. That brings up a third and 10, and we will line it with a five wide set. Samuel will take the snap, and the lane opened up over the middle. Will he take it? He will end up taking off, but not getting the first down. They actually don't rule him down at first, and they do give him the first down. I don't know how in the hell they screwed that call up, but I'll take the first. Apparently, the Eagles are not going to try to challenge that one, so first and 10 from the 20-yard line. 
And we're going to run a play fake to Joe Mixon. Rolling to the outside now under pressure. Throwing this one to the end zone and finds his man. Touchdown Oklahoma City. That is Braden Willis. And that was one of the prettiest passes I think I've seen him throw. However, Philadelphia is not going to go away quietly in this one. They have driven all the way down to the Bison 14-yard line with a first and 10 here. It's a handoff to Reddick, who is apparently back in the game, juking players out and fighting all the way down to the five-yard line. Now it's a second and one. Hertz is going back under center. It'll be a toss play out to Reddick on the outside, but he gets chased and brought down by Darnell Waters to set up a third and four. DeAndre Swift will check back into the game. Hurts had a shotgun. Go into the end zone. He finds his man. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And the Eagles are going to go for two to try to make this a three-point game late in the third quarter. It's a toss to the outside, and I don't think he's going to get there. He is brought down by Emmanuel Ogba, the guy we just signed. We will now jump into the Bison's drive, where it is a third and three at their own 48, trying to keep this drive alive near the end of the third quarter. Samuel with a quick throw is going to miss the receiver, and we will have to punt this one away. As we now jump into the fourth quarter, the Eagles are not in a great situation. It's a third and 20 from their own 49. Hurts at a shotgun, looking to go deep downfield, under pressure, and getting sacked on the play once again by Hassan Reddick. And now Steven Reddick, their running back, is injured again. With 9.36 to play in the game, we take over at our own 20-yard line with a five-point lead. Both teams have all three timeouts. Out of an eye formation, Samuel looks to pass. He's going to throw this one out to Braden Willis, who will cut up the sideline and get a gain of 10 to set up a second and inches. Samuel back in shotgun again. Eli Craig is the running back here. He will look to pass one more time, and he's going to find Braden Willis, but he can't hold on through the hit. Third down. We only need a yard. Why don't we just give it to our running back here with nine minutes to play. Samuel will line up under center. Craig is the running back, but it's a quick throw to the outside. Whatever, that works too to Braden Willis all the way to the 36-yard line. Whatever works to keep this drive alive to try to make it a two-score game again. Now another eye formation. Eli Craig is the running back, and this time we will give it to him to the outside. There is a flag down as he's breaking tackles, getting to the outside and getting brought down. But I imagine all of those yards are coming back. And it's going to be a personal foul holding on the, or I guess not a personal foul, but either way, holding on our center. That makes it a first and 20 now, all the way back at our own 26-yard line. And we're going to give it back to our running back. This time it's Joe Mixon, and he is injured on the four-yard run. Which means our backup running back is now Lyle Yarbrough, who checks into the game for a second and 16. We'll take the snap. We fake it to him. Rolling to the outside. Samuel going deep downfield. He's got a man, but Braden Willis can't hold on through the hit again. That sets up a third and 16. At our own 30-yard line, Samuel will drop back. Looking to go deep over the middle. He finds his man. That's Hollywood Brown into Eagles territory. We are now under eight minutes to play here in the NFC Championship game. Nick Samuel is back in shotgun. He'll take the step. It's going to be a read option, and Samuel's going to get hit and brought down for no gain on the play. That sets up a second and 10. He lines up under center. It's a toss play to the outside, caught by Yarbrough, who follows his blocks and ends up with a four-yard carry. Under seven minutes to go now on a third and six. From the 38-yard line, he takes the snap and will drop back to pass. It's a screen to the outside, caught by Yarbrough, who gets to the edge but won't have the first down. That's a fourth and three. But instead of a long field goal, we are going to go for this on fourth down. From the 36-yard line, I believe Spurlock is lined up at running back, and that's where we go with it. Our fullback will get nowhere near the marker, and it's a turnover on downs. I don't know why we're not using Harrison Bucker in that situation, but now the Eagles take over with a handoff to DeAndre Swift for just a two-yard carry. Jalen Hurts back in shotgun now with about five and a half minutes to play. For a second and eight from his own 37, dropping back to pass. He's throwing this one to the outside and missing DeAndre Swift. Third down with 5.32 to play now. On a third and eight from his own 37, Hurts will drop back to pass again. He's going to try to take off up the middle. He may have the first down. He is met but gets brought down, has the first down anyway, down at the 48. But he keeps their drive alive, which is the important part. Five minutes to play now. He'll drop back to pass from shotgun again. He'll step up in the pocket, avoid everybody, and take off right up the middle for another first down run. But Jalen Hurts is injured on the play, which means Grant Osborne, the backup quarterback who torched us earlier in the season, will now step into the game as they give it to their third string running back, Sanders, right up the middle for a gain of 15. 
Osborne back in shotgun at our 25 yard line. He will look to pass this time. Throwing to the outside. He finds his man. That's going to be a gain of about eight yards. But that receiver was also injured on the play. So now the clock is stopped at 417. Second and two from the 17 yard line. Hand up up the middle and Swift is stopped immediately. Third and three. Osborne back in shotgun from the 18 yard line now. Swift is still the running back. Under four minutes to play in the game. A quick throw down field will be caught for the first down all the way down to the nine to set up a first and goal. 3.20 to play now. Osborne back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap. Hand off to DeAndre Swift up the middle, and he's going to fight his way forward to about the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Osborne now from back under center will drop back to the pass. He's going to roll to the outside. There is a flag on the play, and he finds a man wide open. Touchdown, Philadelphia. But what is the flag going to be? Hopefully this touchdown does not stand. They are taking a while to show what this penalty is. It is holding on the Eagles. So instead of a touchdown, you now get a second and goal from the 18-yard line with 2.46 to play. Hand off to DeAndre Swift, who gets up by everybody, apparently, all the way down to the 9. Third and goal. Osborne back in shotgun. We are nearing the two-minute warning here. He will take the snap and look to go downfield. A quick throw that's caught down to the four-yard line. That will take us down to the two-minute warning for a fourth and goal. This play could very well decide who is going to the Super Bowl. From the four-yard line, a quick throw, and he misses the receiver. A turnover on downs. But we still have a job to do here. With a minute 58, they do have all three timeouts. A first and ten. Spurlock is lined up in the backfield. We'll take the snap, and that's going to be a handoff to Yarbrough to the outside. Yarbrough has the first down and a lot more down. The sideline finally brought down to the 35. The downside is, though, he definitely stepped out of bounds, so it does stop the clock with a minute 52. So now we need to get another first down. Here is Eli Craig. He has that first down, but there is a flag as he gets all the way to the 50. I imagine this is not going to stand, though. Holding on the Bison. That moves it back to be a first and 16 at our own 29-yard line. Yarbrough is checked back into the game. We give it to Yarbrough on the outside, and he'll get met and brought down for a short three-yard carry. And Philadelphia finally burns their first timeout. Second and 13 now from the 32. This is another handoff to Yarbrough to the outside, and he'll get brought down to set up a third and seven with a minute 38 to go. Philadelphia burns that second timeout. From the 38-yard line, Samuel looks at pass, going downfield, and he finds Braden Willis for the first down. We are headed back to the Super Bowl for the third straight season. It definitely got scary there for a minute when they got all the way down to the four-yard line. Who knows how this game ends if Jalen Hurts is actually healthy on that final fourth down throw. But either way, Osborne could not hit it, which ultimately sends us back to the Super Bowl where we will take on the Kansas City Chiefs for a second time in this series. The final stats for Nick Samuel, 28 for 37, 364 yards and four touchdowns. Eli Craig really could not do much on the ground. Receiving, Braden Willis got 83 yards in a score. Jared Bartow, 72 yards in a score. But Hollywood Brown, 122 in a touchdown. Over on defense, Darnell Waters was all over the field with 15 tackles. John Marion got 10. We got several sacks today, three from Hassan Reddick, one from Obo Okoronkwo, one from Perrion Winfrey. Interceptions, we got absolutely zero. Now let's see how Jalen Hurst played. He went 19 of 26 for 277 and two scores. Grant Osborne only one incomplete pass, but it was the most important incomplete pass of the Eagles season. Running the ball, DeAndre Swift, 61 yards and a score. Receiving Devontae Smith stepped up with no A.J. Brown. He got seven for 163 and a score. And then Joey Goldstein got a touchdown. In the next episode, we have a Super Bowl rematch from the first Super Bowl we ever made just a couple years ago where we fell just shy of the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, now we get another shot at them.